In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about drawing letters with one point perspective. So what we're going to begin with is the usual. We'll start with a horizon line somewhere on our page and a vanishing point somewhere on the horizon line. Next up, I'm just going to draw some letters. We'll do some block letters of a variety of shapes. And I'll draw the S a little bit slower so that we can see how to do it for those of you that have a challenge with it. Usually I start with just a curve, then I do a curve right inside and make the S with that. Then I connect the rest of the line staying in equal distance as I go around it. And I think we'll add in a Q for good measure. Next up, we're going to start finding the converging lines. So we'll start with the hard edges first, just because they're a little easier to find. So we will connect our converging lines from the corners of our letter to the vanishing point. Remember, draw it light until you get it right. You are erasing most of these converging lines, so we want to draw them lightly. And we'll see this back edge would be covered up by the letter anyway, so we don't need to draw that. So now we'll move on to the parallel line. So we'll be parallel to the side of the letter. We'll drag our ruler out and stay in between the two converging lines there. Then we will line it up on the next side and connect it to that point where the parallel line meets the converging line, staying in between the two converging lines right there. And we'll just continue doing this around the entire letter. Once we have those drawn, then we can erase the extra converging lines around the edges. And we'll move on to the next letter. So the A is pretty similar to the L. We'll check all of the corners. If they go and would like hit something else, you can always stop at that point where it would hit instead of going through it to the vanishing point. And we'll see that those are the only three converging lines here. So we'll move on to our parallel lines. And with this part, since those two sides are the same width, I can just use my ruler to do both of them at the same time. So I'll just stop when I hit the center of the A and then continue on again. So we kill two birds with one stone right there. Then we want to make sure that the sides are the same width. You don't want to have one really fat side and one really skinny side. Now we're going to start getting a little more challenging with our letters, with more curves. So we'll start with the easy parts first. We'll start with these definite edges. And I think we'll have one more on the inside of the tail of the Q. And so that'll just kind of stop right on the inside there. We don't need to continue. And now if you remember from the shapes video that you hopefully watched right before this, to find the edge, we're going to line the ruler up with the vanishing point and swing it towards the side of the letter. And we will draw our converging line right there. It won't go through the letter, it'll just brush the edge of it. We'll do the other side too, so line it up with the vanishing point, and then slide it until it just touches the edge of the cue. So it doesn't go through the letter, 
it only goes along the side. And then remember, it's kind of like having an identical letter right behind it, so we're also going to have some inside of the Q. So we're going to follow those curves to make our parallel lines. And the more practice you have, the less you need to use a ruler for the smaller pieces. But I do recommend it when you're beginning. And then remember we have that whole inside of the queue that we need to see as well, because it is behind it. And while we move on to these other letters, I do want to talk a little bit about something with perspective. So when you have an object that is sitting on the horizon line, so for example, half of it is above the horizon and half of it is below the horizon, like our A, you are only going to see the side of it. You won't see the top or the bottom because the horizon line is your eye level. So. If you're looking at something at eye level, you usually can't see the top and the bottom, or one or the other, you're just seeing the sides of it and the front. If something is above the horizon line, that means it would be above your eye level. So if you're looking at something that's above your eye level, you would see the bottom of it and the front of it, and maybe one of the sides of it, depending on what angle it is. So like this J here, we'd see the bottom, the front, and the right side. Then if we have a letter or any kind of object that's below the horizon, that would mean that it is below our eye level. So we'd be looking down at it. So in this case, like our L, we would see the top of it, we'd see maybe part of the side of it, and we would see the front of it. So I always keep those things in mind when you are drawing something in perspective, just so you have an idea of this is what I should be seeing. If it's above you, you aren't going to see the top of it. If it's below you, you aren't going to see the bottom of it. So don't forget that when you're drawing. Now let's move on to the dreaded S. There's so many curves, but we're going to start with a couple of these hard edges right here, just to get the easy stuff out of the way first. Now we're going to find one of those curvy edges. There's going to be about three of them that we'll actually see. Oh, looks like we missed a little point there. So we'll start at the vanishing point and we'll swing out till we hit an edge. So we'll have a little one there. We'll swing out till we hit that outside edge. And there's one more. We'll swing out to that edge. All right, now we have those curving parallel lines. So remember, you need to stay in between the converging lines there. So don't go past them. You got to stay in there. And then here, it's going to be a little on the inside of the shape. We're not going to see too much of the one that's there. And what I think I'm going to do for the rest of this video is just draw a few more shapes really quickly. We'll put it in speed mode. 
and then we'll just draw a little bit of a background. So once you start to get the hang of the process of this, I recommend just practicing. Draw a whole bunch of different letters, maybe try some different shapes, maybe some numbers, maybe you want to make things really bumpy or wiggly. Challenge yourself. If you're not sure how to do it, just try it. If it doesn't work, ask someone around you, maybe they'll know. So the key is to take some risks and try different things, because you might surprise yourself with what you discover. Here we're going to have some stronger overlapping on our letter, so you can always stop when you hit something, or you can stop and then continue again past the object. That way we don't have to worry about erasing what's inside of the object. And, you know, I think I'm going to add some background here. Let's have some mountains. We'll put them in a place. Alright, thanks for watching!